Okay. Going to another episode of Titans. This is season two, episode five. It should be five. Um, this is Deathstroke. So last week's MVPs for me were Deathstroke. He only had like five minutes of screen time, and Jericho, who also had like two minutes of screen time. Um, but oh, I was gonna mention something. Oh, uh, a big theory going around right now is that. Um, Jericho, it's it's like a fake out at the end. Um, at the end of the last episode, we saw um, Dick Grayson was kind of. It looks like he's going to manipulate Jericho somehow, um, maybe torture him for information or something. That's just the way it was set up. Um, the way his expression changed from like happy and like nice, and then when he turned his back, it was just like completely serious. And we know that Dawn had told him be Batman, um, and so we can kind of we're we're led to believe that he's going to. You know, start turning into that violent, um, the ultra-violent kind of dick racing that we saw in season one. Um, but I know there's a, like a, a theory going around that, um, you know, they <laughs> less of a theory, more of a hope that um, Dick and the rest of the Titans really just faked Jericho's death so that um, they could get closer to Deathstroke or something. You know, like it, it, Jericho's not really dead. Um, but uh, I don't know. I just I don't have enough faith in the writers to pull something off like that. Um, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, it looks like this episode we're gonna go back to Jason based on some of the tweets and images being released this week. And yeah, we'll just see what happens with him. Um, I did see next episode we're getting a character finally, so I'm excited for that one. But let's just get into the chase episode and see what's going on now. light bulb. Boop. Son, what a lame fucking name. I like all the scratches in his helmet and stuff. It looks like it's actually battle worn. He said shut the fuck up. Dr. Light, come on. Blast him. <laughs> I'm rooting for the bad guys here. <laughs> Oh, did he like dislocate his finger? Is that what happened? Excuse you. <laughs> Leaving so soon. God, he's such a great death stroke. <laughs> Literally, like all the animated versions of Death Stroke have such a great voice and he can captures that voice so well. Why didn't you call him? Why do you have to <laughs> Oh my god? <laughs> Why don't you shout for her instead of just whispering? I'm gonna cut you. Not about me, pal. This is all because of you and your big dumb fucking idea to start up the Titans again. I'm out. Yep. What? Where are you going? To get Jason. And for the record, this is all of our fault. Every single one of us. So get over it and move on. I was like, <laughs> they're just gonna leave Jason. This little asshole has a tracking device in him. Why are you sitting there, <laughs> damn statue, when a whole fucking plan is going up in smoke? This is good. Oh yeah, good. What exactly? And for what? For a reason you may not be capable of understanding. Ooh. Around nothing gets yeah, you're dead, Dr. Light. I'm sorry. If you're looking for the result, I'm happy to provide you with one. Do you they are looking for? Oh, God. But it is he they shall find. He... <laughs> He's gonna put the tracker on Dr. Light? His time's up, he's dead. Headshot right now. Yep. <laughs> he was good while he lasted. The fun villain while he lasted. What? Talk, talk about your feelings, people. Why didn't tell Dick about your little plan? If he could have come to me, I could have helped if he didn't keep it a secret. How? You can't even control yourself. Excuse me? Yeah, I saw you yesterday in the train. You couldn't bring it back in. That's 
this is your creepy black cloud of razor blade that nearly took my hand off. Oh my god. Security alert. Main entrance. Access denied. Hey. Come on, Corey, fix their lives. I see you found my gift. Deathstroke. Where's Jason? Oh, you mean a little sidekick? Who the fuck you call a sidekick, asshole? Out of way. You fucking Jeez. bastard! Come try that shit with me! If you want him back, hand over Rose. Mm. I said that I was supposed to destroy a world. Or save worlds. We're not born good or bad. The choices you make define your destiny. Corey? What happened to Jason? Oh, God. That's not going to turn anywhere. No, you guys gotta protest. Come on. You gotta keep things in the open. Aren't you tired of being lied to? Dick isn't lying to us. <sighs> he doesn't want us to get involved. He's protecting us. I don't know about you, Rose. I My feel like this is a... They're hiding something. She's still Not part of them. She's is. just sowing seeds of doubt and destroying them from the inside. I think this whole thing with Deathstroke wanting her back is just a ploy to <laughs> stir up the pot more. Jason is hurt, alone, and scared. And I... We all know what that feels like. Bottom line is... What? I can sleep a little better at night knowing I did the right thing. You good with this, Grayson? Ooh. Nice, Corey. Nick! Just give me a sec. We've gone down this path before. We all know how that ended. I'm surprised Dawn is We're like the only... Deathstroke's kid to get to him again. Sensible one. Look, we Fight, talk Hank versus Rose. <laughs> yep. Hey. Oh. I don't want to hurt you again. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Ow. <It> fucking hurt. <laughs> Ooh. Get out of my way, Rachel. <laughs> oh shit. Rose, <laughs> he might want to run. <laughs> oh, that was a bit excessive, Rachel. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, God, did you just kill her? Rose, Rachel, don't. <laughs> it's already done, Dick. <laughs> did you just? Did you seriously just kill her? Yeah, she has a healing factor, obviously, but... Oh, God! Oh, God! Oh! <laughs> Shit! So... Which problem do you want to fix first? <laughs> Corey's great! I know what it's like... Sitting in the dark... Alone... Hurt... Praying for somebody... Tell anybody to come and save you. Waiting. But nobody ever comes. A little asshole. But you're doing the same thing to Rose no then. How much he makes me want to punch him in the face sometimes. Protect the tower. I'll contact Destro. Confirm our meetup at the plaza. And then we take him down. Once and for all. He's not gonna agree. You don't have a person to trade. He's smarter than that. Like, this isn't gonna work. You're not suited up. Yeah. You don't have anything to trade. This is not going to end well. Like, <laughs> I don't know what you guys are planning. Here. I'm in position. Is he gonna take Rose after all, or what? I know you're here. Oh, shit. Okay. That's the Dick Grayson I know. 
and I want this to end once and for all. I was gonna say, I'm like, these guys really didn't think their plan was gonna work, did they? <laughs> so how about we make a deal, huh? God. Bruh. Hold on. Shit. You're not a martyr. You're a con man. The problem with con men is that they never know when to stop. God. And someone else always pays. Oh, Jesus. Well, nice! Did you really think you were going to compliment my hair instead of saying goodbye? Is it crazy? <laughs> Nice. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Take that gun out of his hand. No. Nope. I'm not liking this part. Let's go back to the part where she was kicking his ass. Come on. <laughs> no. Nope. Nope. Press some X in the chat for Jason. Oh, okay. Oh, uh, <laughs> still present F in the chat. I feel like he's not going to make it. Somebody's dying here. Corey, it's time to fly. Let's go. Get some flight powers activated. Come on, Corey. Donna, you can fly. Somebody fly. Come on. <laughs> we got some work to do. Um. Okay. 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 People are getting bodied this season. <laughs> I was not expect there was some there was death last season, but like these are main characters dying. <laughs> I don't believe <sighs> Okay, so with Jason <sighs> Connor's Connor's gonna catch him. <laughs> right? Somebody's gonna catch him. <sighs> I don't I don't know. They can't kill him off yet. I mean, the writers would, though. The writers would kill him off. Look, I love the writing in the show sometimes. Deathstroke's lines are A+. Plus. Like, his, whatever he talks, I listen. Like, <laughs> Deathstroke, his writing is perfect. I think some of the other Titans, like uh, Gar and Rachel, have pretty decent lines. Delivery, maybe not so much. But the lines, you know, they're, they're good lines. Um, it's just... I think the narrative is the place that sometimes the writers are a bit lackluster, and so I could see them definitely killing Jason off. So I don't know. <laughs> like, I would just have it be like, okay, someone unlocks their power of flight and go catches him, and then Deathstroke escapes or something, you know? Because they could still do, like, Jason feels betrayed or whatever, you know? They could still do that kind of shit later down the line, but they don't have to kill him for that. So I don't know. I'm, I'm just worried. Um... I'm okay with whatever happens because we all know that Jason turns into the Red Hood, so I'm okay with him being on here versus Jason. You know, it's it's whatever for me. Um, I loved Corey this episode. She was my favorite. She's definitely the MVP this episode. Um, she just shows up and things start getting, <laughs> you know, we start just solving some problems a little bit. Um, and um, Starfire's personality. I just, I like her characterization both from season one and from season two my problem is it just feels like all of a sudden she's all-knowing about like all you know her amnesia is completely gone and i don't think we really explored that i mean i okay i guess it's because in season one we had that thing where rachel kind of cleansed her mind or whatever so i'm assuming that it's like okay now the mental block is gone she remembers everything now in which case, I'm okay with that. It, I, I just feel like it wasn't explored enough. It was just kind of like, it happened. I think it was because it was too close to the end of the season last season. It was, the mind cleanse happened, and then Trigon appeared. So then we had to deal with that. We didn't really talk about Corey anymore. And then season two here, it's just like, she's just been on it. So I just feel like we haven't really discussed why it's happened. Um, but it has been shown. So I'll give, again, it's more of the writing thing. Like, it wasn't... It wasn't given enough time to linger for that. Um, but I get it now. I get it, I guess. Um, uh, Gar, this episode, he was interesting. I, I liked seeing him sort of angry and, you know, he's sort of 
beating himself up about it um, and sort of lashing out. I think that's going to be a, a nice growing point for him to sort of explore this, um, you know, his feelings of inadequacy, I think. I think that's what it boils down to. Maybe I'm projecting myself. <laughs> but, you know, he he was talking to Rachel and, you know, and Rose, and he's just getting all mad at the, both of them because... Uh, for whatever reasons, but then you know, at the end of the day, it's it's he feels responsible for what happened to Jason, um, and then also the fact that he can only turn into a tiger. He turned into a snake that one time, but he hasn't done it since. So I think that's also kind of underlying, sort of in his mind, is that he's he doesn't feel like he's growing or something, um, and so I hope that we kind of explore that with him, um, uh, with Rachel. I don't know. I could tone down with a little bit with her. Um, you know, it, it always. I don't know. I think one more episode of her like being like, okay, I get it now. You know, I accept. I accept my fate of like I can be good or bad. You know, because this whole thing like I'm evil. I don't know. I'm just getting tired of it. So I need her to like make up her mind already. <laughs> just you know, let's move on to a new problem with her. Um, because that was the whole season one thing is like I have these evil powers what's wrong with me this mirror person and then my dad you know like it's like no okay you know we got this now we got red eyed raven okay who cares You're like <laughs> move on with your life raven okay um that's just that's my hang up with her character this this season so far is just like all it is is just crying and like you know the scenes where she's not being like all emo basically I like like I like her when she's chilling with Rose or she's you know chilling with Gar you know those are cool scenes but when she's all like oh, I hate myself I, I'm just out of it like okay we get it um uh and then the other three you know Donna Hank and uh Don they were they were they were okay this episode you know they didn't really do anything so I'm not gonna talk about I'm not gonna talk about them Deathstroke again loved him Dr. Light um Give him a little clap. <laughs> He's a good character while he lasted. Um, so I guess we're not going to talk about... Yeah, he's just going <laughs> to... He was good while he lasted. Let's just leave it at that. Um, I hope we get more on Jericho soon rather than later because it, there was just that... There's still that whole... That gap of time. You know, they said, okay, Garth died and then we were kind of losing. And then the Titans broke up somewhere in between there. So... I, we need. We still have that gap of time where we need to figure out what happened with Jericho, um, and then we also kind of need to talk about Rose still. I think this episode they're really trying to, you know, I, I still <laughs> until I'm proven wrong, until the season is over, I believe she is a bad guy. <laughs> like, well, I believe she is currently a bad guy. Okay, um, I think it's all a ploy. I think that again, I think their Deathstroke and Rose are. T tag team in this thing and that you know Deathstroke wanting Rose is kind of pit draw this turmoil within the Titans because you know it's it's not enough just to kill each of the Titans it's also to destroy them mentally um you know that's kind of what he was saying at the when he was talking with Dr. Light that that episode ago um you know you gotta you gotta quote unquote mind fuck them um and so if you're kind of drawing these lines in the sand of like okay uh Dawn is saying, no, we can't give up Rose. That's, you know, we're going to lose our morality. And then Hank over here is like, fuck her. We got to get Jason. Um, you know, that's drawing a line in the sand. That's drawing these divides, destroying their relationships with each other. Um, and so I think that even though, you know, Rose has an easy part. She just has to pretty much be there, listen in, and kind of throw snarky, com <laughs> snarky lines every now and then. Um, you know, and then she just has a pretension to run away and all that stuff. And the fact that she's like, apparently she can survive getting her spine broken or neck twisted. I don't know what will happen. Um, yeah, she's definitely a mole. Like, <laughs> there's no doubt about it. Um, uh, yeah, I don't know. I like this episode. I just can't think of <laughs> anything else I want to talk about. So post your thoughts down below. What do you like about this episode? What do you guys want to see next time? Um, I won't spoil it. Well, yeah, I won't spoil it if you guys don't know. But uh, next episode, ooh, it's going to have some interesting stuff. I'm reading the description now, too. Um, I'm excited for next episode. And, yeah, thanks for watching, everyone. Um, talk to you guys in the comments, and see you in the next video.